to agenda number I, 11. Pause there for a minute. Uh, this is a request for plan development approval uh, for a single family attached residential development. Um, that is a long drawn out way of saying townhouses. Uh, that technically single family attached does include more than just a traditional townhouse design. This is uh, property um, It's being requested by Stoker Utilities. The property is in R6 conditional, and that's actually a condition from 15 years ago that applies to most of the R6 property you see on the screen. Um, this was the Biles family farm that was annexed and rezoned to R6 back in 2007. The conditions that were put on it back then pertain to um, percentage of lots with lot sizes that range above 8,000 square feet versus a little bit less. And all that means is it's a book, uh, bookkeeping chore for staff to keep up with the number of lots in different size categories as each phase of these subdivisions come along. But essentially it is R6 zoning, which is single family attached um, or detached residential or duplexes as it might be. Um, interestingly, we have no duplexes yet on any of these R6 properties. Um, another thing is this is, you see the area of vacant parcel of land that is between North Forest Street Extension um, and Green Hill Drive's row of houses that is currently one parcel. The subject property is only about the western half of it. It is not the eastern part. And we'll get to that in a moment. Character area, suburban area, which is for the whole subdivision. Note the community activity center. Character area on the west side of North Forest. That is probably currently zoned agriculture. Um, but probably long term will become commercial development, which you might expect along Beach Road. Um, area of view shows the patterns a little more distinctly. Some people I think will miss, I think those are strawberry fields mm -hmm. that were right there, although I think this year they're fallow. Um, but you see the Green Hill Drive portion of the subdivision, and then more Branch Point you don't see, but that's further up to the right. Um, track 1 is the subject property, 6.3 acres. Track two, which is a little bit larger, the applicant's proposal is to make that a mirror image of Green Hill Drive. Um, back in 20 or 2007, there was a conceptual master plan for all of this as single family subdivision. However, it was not um, put into geographic detail very accurately. And so between the Green Hill Drive development and North Forest, is not quite enough depth to have two Green Hill Drives fit in there, at least the way it's laid out, um, which is, they went ahead and thought, well, track two is a no-brainer, we could do that. But you see on this layout, track one is a little bit of a squeeze play going on with the lots. So the applicants started looking at some alternatives. One of them is townhomes, which is single-family attached. Um, it is actually a use by right in R6 zoning but you must follow conventional townhouse design guidelines. Copy of that's there in your packet. And there's not quite enough depth for them to do that as well. And they're wanting to do something just a little more creative and then for a plan development to allow the creativity of design that's non-conventional but still have the same type of use as conventional townhouses in terms of the density. So with all of that, subject property, pictures, this is the view from the intersection of Branch Point and North Forest, looking southeast into the subject property. As you see, it is a cleared crop field on a nice sunny day when this was taken. Uh, further south, down Forest, this is the view from Branch Point Drive, looking straight south into the subject property. Um, again, crop field. Adjacent properties to the north of Branch Point, it's the same thing as to the south, crop field. In the distance, you see the rooftops of some of the existing subdivisions, um, phases of Branch Point. And then this is Green Hill Drive from the north end looking southward. And you see the housing pattern. Most of these houses were built around the year 2010 or 2011. Um, south of the subject property on the other side of Knights Academy Road, there is a res rural residential home site that is there. I think it is under RA. Master plan. Um, shows track one and track two together for reference. You see track two is just the conventional R6 single family subdivision. Track one is the subject property. 
It is townhouses, uh, 42 of them, seven buildings of six units per building, um, which is the maximum that the conventional standards would um, allow. And the applicant has tried to follow at least the intent of all of those standards. Um, dividing it into seven buildings is one of those ways. All of the townhouses would be two-story, feature two-story garages, there's pictures of that in your packet, and face inward to the site. The plan is to buffer this development as its own little enclave, separated from the single-family development to the east, and separated from North Forest Street to the west, so that everything faces to the interior. A shared entrance drive, most of the parking would be in the driveways and in those garages, plus some extra parking on the other side of the driveway, where it's all open space with a little bit of outdoor recreation. But an interesting feature too, 25-foot landscape buffer yard between this and the subdivision to the east. Under conventional code, that is not required. This is actually over and above. And that's simply because it's R6 zoning on both ends. Um, but with planned development, we can request things over and above. The applicant has gone ahead and proposed a 25-foot buffer yard, which, which is more typical of what you would see between commercial development in the single-family neighborhood. So a little bit above minimums there. Building facade designs, this is conceptual, um, different types of facades. I like the, a little bit of variety of architecture. I wish they would vary just a little bit more. Um, at least the six within a building, each of those six perhaps a little different, but an attractive design. And another similar feature here, we have a mixture of materials. So with that, it is a plan development request for single family attached within R6 zoning. Um, as with any plan development request, there are deviations, that's a politically correct word of saying variants, um, where they do not comply with all of the development standards. A listing of those are in your packet. And in the world of planned developments, this one has very few. And all of those pertain to just basic standards of R6 or single-family attached or townhouse pattern. So they don't quite meet all of the requirements, and certainly they meet the intent. Um, the alternative was perhaps rezone this to RM for multifamily and call this an apartment complex under townhouse design, which we have some developments in the city like that. Um, however, the RM possibility opened it up to a lot more density um, and having to be more of a conventional parking lot instead of a shared driveway. This was sort of the in-between alternative and we told them early on with a good site plan, it works um, pretty much straightforward, not too far outside of the box from conventional design. But what really makes it fit in staff's mind is the zoning pattern and future development pattern. I do not see single family development along the east frontage of North Forest making good sense long term, particularly if the property to the west becomes pretty intensive commercial development along Venus Road. So higher density of residential, particularly on the design that faces away from forest, I think is a very good fit for this area. So with that, staff is recommending approval after finding it consistent with the comprehensive plan. The plan development review criteria that's there in the packet. Um, and in the interest of time, I won't read all seven of these conditions. Thank you. Bless you. We can read. Um, I'm Commissioner Bobs, do you? I was going to say, do you need to recuse yourself from this one? All right. All righty, any questions for Matt? All right, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak on behalf of this request, if you'll come forward? Good evening again. Matthew, I'm at Mass Engineering Services, 4560, sweet me. Um, Maddie, all, all the high points again, as always. Um, we did, there is a small pond in the corner that we did talk about that we're, we're enlarging quite a bit, um, the handling purpose for, for the two developments. Um, if you look at the density between the track one and track two, track, track two is 41 single family homes, um, track one will have 42. So we're a little more dense breaker, but, but roughly the same amount of housing in, in both phases um, of what we're trying to do. And, and all the reason we're, at, we're coming after this is, is just trying to try to put another one of those green number drives. It just doesn't fit. We're about 35 feet on one end, about 70 feet short of the other end. So um, we're just trying to find a good use of the property of, 
of what can be done for it. And uh, this is this is a product that um, you know we got some of the rate of town. Uh, the uh, 44 uh, towns 44, 43, the one just on the road, uh, y'all proof of the county, and then Jerry's currently um, doing other development um, just on the road that's the same type of unit. So it's character, not in the city, but, but those are in the county, and uh, something we think is a big need for in that area. Okay. Thank you. All right. Is there anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? Is there anyone wishing to speak against this request? If you'll come forward. All right, if not, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners. Is there any other questions or discussion? All right, there being none, I'll ask for the motion. Madam Chairman. Yes, Commissioner Graham. File DA 20-22-22. I recommend that we recommend to the city approval. And is that with the list of conditions? With the list of conditions. All right. All right, we have a motion to approve with conditions. All right, I have a second by Commissioner Walls. All right, is there any discussion on the motion? All right, all those in favor um, of approval with conditions, if you'll raise your right hand, please. All those against, and that motion. Oh, did you recuse? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> did you get that, Molly? I it almost slipped my mind that fast. I'm telling you. Um, all right. 